guys, welcome back to Campbell's Freedom Farm. As you can see, we have our beautiful and fragrant lemongrass, which if you didn't know, comes from India, and that's used a lot there. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna replace our lemongrass, if you can see the line. But one thing I wanna point out before we take these out, don't go throw these in your compost or don't put them in the trash. What they have is they keep the mosquitoes away, raccoons and deers, they don't come near this stuff. <laughs> Nothing likes lemongrass except for us. <laughs> it's brilliant because it really does have a strong smell if you smell it. So we'll probably chop this up and then throw it over Stefan's garden and put it all there and it'll help keep that raccoon, the groundhog. It's just too strong and it's great for mosquitoes if you have a mosquito problem. So we're going to take these out and what's great about lemongrass is you don't need all the fertilizers. We don't need the crushed red peppers because again nothing's going to come and eat this which maybe is why our sweet potato vines were protected nothing ate our sweet potato here all right so let's get started can see the roots. All right, so we do have to dig a little bit out. What's great is all we have to do is just make it flush so it doesn't have to be a super deep hole. So, and you also have to tune in. At the end of the year we dry this. We love to use it for tea and foods. You'll have to check out Cooking with Taylor and Stefan. But on Campbell's Freedom Farm there is a video on how to dry lemongrass, which is great because you get to use it all winter. And it really does last. A long time because these really do push out especially when you're making a hedge All right, I just wanted to show you how fast these are going and really this is a quick project compared to the first time we did it which took more time <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put the last few in and then we will have more to put over here as soon as we move the mulch just putting in well the last one for this row we do have to move the mulch and we're gonna plant something else but I did want to say that this gets the height is 24 to 36 and the space is 24 to 36 so in the beginning we did line this out so if you want to hedge make sure you line it out I mean sometimes I roll my eyes it takes time but it makes a big difference instead of having one out here and one here it looks way better so we'll go ahead and show you that second part as soon as I move the mulch. All right, so we're done, well, so far to our last sweet potato. And I wanted to point out, we had a record sweet potato last year. And you wanna know why? We have clay, which holds all the nutrients and it had to grow, because usually they go farther in the ground. So we're hoping we get this record again. He's ready to beat the record this year. And I wanna beat that record again by adding 100 more potatoes without I just one. wanted to show you this voluntary shishu. It's very edible, it's the purple one, and it's very beautiful. And they really look nice together, and they're both delicious. <laughs> all right, we're all finished. As you can see, the lemongrass looks beautiful, and so does the sweet potato. So for self-care, if you fertilize the sweet potato, you're gonna get more leaves. But if you don't, you're gonna get more too. And we want more leaves, they're delicious and they look beautiful too, of course. The lemongrass, you don't have to do anything except for water, and it doesn't need a lot of water. And you can use it pretty quickly too, which is great. Well, please subscribe, like, and share. And check out your... Ah, and check out the other video. Cooking with... Cooking with Taylor and Stefan.